Okay, a few more things about grinding. I've got it off right now so you can hear me. I tend to push with my fingernails against against the uh, grinder bit as I'm grinding versus my fingers. That will keep your fingers from getting quite as sore if you if you use your fingernails because they're a lot tougher than the skin on your fingers. And then also you can adjust your bit up and down so you can get more surface. So just because one part gets wore out, use your Allen wrench, loosen it up, adjust it up or down. Just make sure you're getting the water flow yet. If you pull it up too high, it can't wick that foil up. Or you can use a little wet sponge back behind it with the uh, the different um, insert there. And a lot of people um, will say, oh, well, that's close enough. So let's pretend that it, I have this ground and I say, well, that's close enough. And I go ahead and take the pattern piece off and set it on my pattern. Well, guess what? No, it's not close enough because I've got a 16th of an inch extra glass. So when I go and if I do that to two pieces, all of a sudden I've got an eighth of an inch extra and your pieces are going to grow and not fit together. So when I say grind to the exact, that's exactly what I mean. Grind to the exact pattern because the piece next to this is going to expect to be ground just like its pattern piece is. This has been sitting in the water so the paper's getting a little soft. I also don't throw my pattern pieces away. If I clean this off, See if I can uh, do this one-handed with the. So I take my pattern piece off, and I just start a little pile of them there. Let me back up a little bit here. That way, if for some reason this breaks during foiling, and I'm just using I've got well, it's set overnight now, so it's cold. Just rub it off with my fingers. You can use a little scrubby pad or a washcloth sponge, whatever. Use an absorbent towel. This is an old rag towel. Like I said, get it dry because you don't want to drip and dry your hand off because the water will drip down in your pattern piece too. Okay, that was pattern number 84. Pivot around here. It's a pink flower, so it should be. And again, when I numbered my pieces, I started in the top left. It really doesn't matter. But 84, I know, is going to come over here. 84. Is it 184? 84. Let's see if we can find 84. 2, 153. 88. Oh, it's a butterfly wing. Sorry, I thought it was a flower. And there it goes. So when I finish this next piece here, it's going to fit perfect because I ground it to match the pattern. So even if it doesn't match the drawing, it's going to match the pattern because that's how I cut it. So don't worry if it doesn't match perfectly there, it's going to match the next piece that I had cut out of the pattern. Alrighty, let's keep grinding. See you soon.